Could the seating arrangements in your child's classroom affect how they're learning? One South Beauregard Elementary School teacher tells 7 News the answer is yes. KPLC's Morgan Babineau has the story. The research just proved that letting kids choose where they sit and or putting them in a space where they could thrive just made their learning so much more valuable. Richard said over the summer she likes to research new ways that students around the world are learning and during her research she learned about flexible seating. And so I slowly integrated that within the classroom. Started out small and over the years I'll add more and more and more options to what we have in our classroom today. We asked Richard what exactly flexible seating looks like and she says it can look different in every classroom. How I do it in my classroom is they have a learn space where they will sit in like traditional chair and table seating and then they'll have a flex space and so whenever they go to their flex space they're able to branch out in the classroom. The options available in Miss Richard's class are wobble stools, bar stools, beanbag chairs, couches and more. The second grade teacher tells us she hasn't been the only teacher to implement this method at her school and each of the teachers who have done it have been successful. I find that the students overall have um, been um, able to achieve more because they're able to do it in the way that makes them comfortable and makes them, you know, get to get the wiggles out and just, you know, be kids. Richard leaves us with advice for any teachers curious about flexible seating. Um, whether it be like a little reading center or it be like a little technology center, there's so many different options that you can do when it comes to flexible seating that, I mean, even if you just want to do a little bit at a time, any little bit can improve student learning overall. As the rest of Southwest Louisiana's school bells ring, we wish all students a safe and happy school year. In Beauregard Parish, Morgan Babineau, 7 News.